Well, the longest skirt of Tim and I got involved in workforce housing this year. And we went on a journey to find out why such resistance. And some historian brought me in a uh, news journal, article from the 60s, where whites were living in the suburbs, blacks were restricted in the journal to a section that was sending them in a woman. So you went through the 60s and 70s and probably the 80s where you had every day or anyone on a bike trip saying no blacks allowed. So then you you can see where DSEG comes from. When you have an all-white community had a housing problem, instead of dealing with the housing problem, it became a school problem. We're affected by today. And we started to develop that history to, to say why workforce housing is so tough. It's the people that are moving from the suburbs here other areas uh, certainly have more equity in their home. Um, now what we're seeing is, uh, because nobody's buying homes, there's large groups of people coming in and buying homes and going to rent the homes. We've had at least one person give us back our housing money because there's more money in rental right now. Because college kids with one they can't buy houses. And people that can't afford houses, they don't have good credit. So you're going to start to see apartment complexes throwing out the poor and renting at 14, 15, 1600. And that, uh, combined with the fact that we're seeing 10 cities all over the county, uh, has us all very concerned that uh, we've got a bigger problem on our hands than any of us can imagine. And uh, we're going to continue to confront it. And at this point, let me just read this proclamation and let you all get on with your solutions, but this is the Office of County Executive of New Kempton County. Being here by noon in the wall, the Honorable Thomas B. Gordon, New Kempton County Executive, issues this proclamation for National Fair Housing Month, whereas April 6 will mark the recognition of Fair Housing Month and the 32nd Fair Housing Proclamation Signing Ceremony Program, sponsored by the Housing Opportunities of Northern Delaware, Inc. This year's theme is Each One Teach One your fair housing rights. And whereas on April 11, 1968, was a pass to Title VIII of the Civil Rights Act prohibiting financial discrimination or related transactions in the sale or rental of property based on race, color, sex, breed, similar status, national origin, or disability. Whereas 1987 HUD additionally reinforced the need for further actions estimated that as many as two million instances of housing discrimination were occurring each year. 20 years after passing the Federal House Act, Congress sought to strengthen the law of enforcement provision in passing the Fair Housing Amendments Act of 1988, signed by President Reagan on September 13, 1988. Whereas in 1994, President William Clinton issued an executive order fair housing related presidential executive order 12892 as amended requiring federal agencies to affirmatively further fair housing in their program and activities and provide the secretary of HUD with the with the, will be responsible for coordinating the effort. The order also established the President's Fair Housing Council, which will be chaired by the Secretary of HUD. And whereas the struggle continues for the equal rights to live wherever one chooses to be treated with the now, therefore I Thomas P. Gordon, County Executive of New Kepsi County, by virtue of the authority vested in me, do hereby proclaim the month of April as Fair Housing Month and commend the Housing Opportunity of Northern Delaware, Inc., for providing services to help eliminate housing discrimination. And I encourage all New Kepsi County residents to join me in recognition of this important time and sponsor and support for fair housing activities, such as those provided by Honda, Inc. Presented this sixth day, April 2015, by order of the county. And I will sign. Today, uh, I'm here for Governor Warnock. I won't read the whole proclamation since it's it's not mine, but I I, I do think that the, the last whereas clause um, is is relevant, especially, and it says whereas promoting equal housing opportunities is essential to our larger mission of promoting housing justice in all areas of life for all residents. Um, another thing that we've recognized at DSHA and, and have a lot of support in the community, from Newcastle County and, and other partners, is uh, that housing is such a, a critical sort of baseline component of people's lives. 
that affects where the kids go to school and uh, it affects crime and it affects uh, jobs you know if you don't have a, a home to go to uh, if you have uh, issues that you're worrying about in your neighborhood um, about violence and uh, you know, that's just not a good place for kids to do homework and it, it just it spreads so to me this this idea of, of creating safe and affordable housing uh, is, is about more than just the building. It's about the community, and it's about people who live there, families who live there. I think that uh, went set up very well. And, and also, glad to your your point about the, uh, the, uh, the theme for this year, Each One, Teach One, Your Fair Housing Rights, um, struck me as, as something that, uh, that we get together once a year. We're playing for our Fair Housing Month, and we work on on policies and programs and issues throughout the year, but that really you know, makes it personal. You know, it gives everyone a, a personal charge uh, to think about fair housing and to address it um, and to take responsibility for it. So uh, with that, uh, Governor Markell has declared uh, April Fair Housing Month for the entire state of Delaware, and so I will leave this proclamation with you. So I want, I want to thank uh, you for including uh, the Cass County Board of Realtors. Um, it is, fair housing is something that, that as far as real estate agents um, are concerned, we do get behind. Um, as far as we, we, we take educational classes on a regular basis um, and we touch on fair housing. Um, and, and we are advocates for fair housing in Newcastle County, um, the state of Delaware, and then uh, National Association of Realtors also all the way down down the line. Um, Bob gave me a, um, some, some uh, quick words to say. Um, on behalf of, of Fair Housing in Newcastle County, uh, where, where you live serves as the foundation of defining a person's quality of life, where you call home can affect your entry into social, cultural, educational, and other neighborhood services such as schools, transportation, employment, medical, retail, professional facilities, recreational, and entertainment and more. Housing uh, discrimination is, is an illegal obstacle to housing choices and denies people the opportunity to fully experience and enjoy the American dream of choosing and owning and being responsible for their own homes. Newcastle County Board of Realtors stands for the widest distribution of land under the banner of equality and justice for all. We support housing opportunities of Northern Delaware and all the agencies represented here today and carry the message that fair housing means economic justice and, and well social equality for all. I have a pro proclamation to present on behalf of Newcastle County Board of Realtors to the housing uh, Northern Opportunity, the Housing Opportunity of Northern Delaware. Go ahead. And, and uh, I won't read the proclamation that's already signed. Okay, thank you. Thank and again, you so thanks for having us involved. Thank you so much.